Hey YouTube, this is Chrysanthemum and Cassandra came this weekend. I so, made it. Yes, yeah, she finally made it out here. Now I got to make it out there to um, Memphis, Tennessee, Tennessee, so that we can see what Bill. Oh Lord, come on, plug, so we can see what Bill Street is all about. Huh. So, Cassandra, what did you do on your weekend? Christmas. On your, yes, well, okay, weekend. I, so, first let me tell you guys, I came on the Mega Bus. And so, I would tell anybody, if you have the Mega Bus in your city, take advantage of it, because it's wonderful. I loved it. It had a very smooth ride. Um, it was wonderful. So, I left Wednesday night, and I got here Thursday morning. Then um, Chris picked me up. We went to breakfast and the adventure began. <laughs> yes, it did. I needed, I was so cold. On, okay, so let me just tell you, I'm sorry, I, I'm skipping around to make a bus. You need to bring you a blanket and a pillow because it is cold as hell on that bus. Like people were sniffling. That's how cold it was on that bus. Oh, you didn't tell me that. You, that's something you need to bring with you. Okay, so I told Chris, before I do anything, take me to the store and buy, I need to buy a blanket because I was not going to forget my blanket. I was not going to get back on that bus without a blanket. That just wasn't going to happen. So we went to Target. Well, everybody know when you go to Target, you just start looking around at everything else. So we was looking around and... They had shoes on sale for like eight dollars, and I'm going, mm -hmm. huh? So I ended up buying seven pair of shoes. Seven pair, but of shoes. Three of the pair are for my sister. So oh. I bought four for me and three for my oh, sister. Oh, I thought you bought the bulk for your sister. No, I bought four oh. for me. Oh, you didn't buy some for your niece? No, I ended up not buying it. Oh, but the yeah. other thing is, I ended up with eight pair of shoes all together. Yeah. Well, for me, I have um, five pair of shoes. I but I bought eight pair of shoes. So and I bought a little suitcase. Mm -hmm. I mean, I just bought a little bag. So now I cannot get all my stuff. So I had to go and buy a bag to put my clothes in to to bring it back to Memphis. So that's sad. That's so sad. So but we left Target. We left Target, and then we went to. There was a this Marshalls, is like, TJ Maxx, like Ross. heaven for me. <laughs> Marshalls, Ross, TJ Maxx in a row. <laughs> Who does that? Who does that? That's suicide. So what happened? I hit all three of them, and I ended up getting my blanket and a neck pillow. But, but so but let me we didn't go you. shopping you didn't go shopping shopping in those three cause yeah cause that's at that time I was like okay I just need to find what I'm in. but I'm gonna tell y'all something you would have thought that I spent a lot of money right cause just what I just said I spent $80 okay, okay. This, this is kinda damn trip I like like okay. I could come and get stuff and I just that did not now the whole time that I was then okay so we hit those stores and then we went to Macy's Okay. This is all before we get to the house because all of this is on my way to my house. So we hit Macy's. So once I hit Macy's, I end up buying a pair of shoes, a shirt, and a dress out of Macy's. And that was $34. I spent $60 in Macy's, I think. Like sixty. You bought a pair of shoes at Macy's. And a pair, yeah, a pair of shoes. So I ended up spending like sixty. So well, now you have nine pairs of shoes. No, I have eight. It's just eight. Okay. So that's what I did in Macy's. Yeah. But we were there for three hours in Macy's. For three hours. And don't ask me why we were in Macy's for three hours. Because we were looking at all the shirts. We were looking at different stuff in Macy's and stuff like that. So then we did, I bought some makeup. And this makeup was so pretty because. It's called La Mique. It's, it's called La Mique. And I Is never it heard L -A of it. L-A. La Mique. L-A-M-I-K. Okay. And she yeah. says they only sell it at yeah. the Atlanta, Atlanta Macy's and one in Houston. Houston, yeah. Texas. 
but the makeup was so pretty and nice and it was $27 which if anybody know me know that that's a lot because I'm like El Cheapo mm -hmm. but the makeup is I have been buying store makeup and it was um it was just not doing my, my face any justice it would look so it would look cakey and this makeup didn't look cakey so that's why I bought it so that was Thursday um then we finally got here um we sat down and I guess I was super tired because I had been up since really technically 24 hours so by this time I'm getting tired we watched Scandal Chris had never I never seen Scandal. saw Scandal before in my life can you believe that people I she know there's so many people that watch it but I never saw it and so I watched it but I watched it but I was still trying to cook because we had I gave a Seco de Mayo party, party that on was yesterday awesome. which was Friday but I needed to start cooking stuff and getting stuff ready so but I never saw Scandal so basically my thing on Scandal is what I've been telling her is like why do they talk so fast but so I saw I guess one of the good parts because they're plotting to kill the lady that they're sleeping with the president and I actually Olivia thought she Pope. was going to let tell him to go back to his wife and that she would be scared. And I actually thought that man would not give up his presidency. But basically, that's what he did. I hope it's worth it. <laughs> I mean, he going to have a job. He going to have some money because he gets that president pay. But I don't know. I don't know if I would have. I don't know. I think I probably would have told him it's not worth it for you to give up all of that. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. true. So then that brings us to Friday. So Friday, what did we do? Oh, and, oh, and and then we also went to the store on Thursday as well. Mm -hmm. so we went to the grocery store and we got some little stuff at the grocery store. So then we came. Then we on to Friday. Friday, Christmas. We woke up. We start doing stuff to get ready for the Cinco de Mayo party party was awesome it was not a party that like people when I say it was fun it was it was grown folks fun like teenagers probably wouldn't have fun because we wouldn't it was more anything. laid back but yeah. It was, yeah and I also got to see one of my good friends that live out here and she came in she came in over here and she fit right in with everybody so we had a, a good time and we had a really good we time. We had a really good time. And I think I drunk like maybe 20 margaritas. <laughs> because one of my friends, Oliver, the guy that goes walking with me and my husband, he came and he said he would do the margaritas. He had me buy margarita mix and tequila. For nothing. And didn't even use my margarita mix or my tequila. He brought like a huge bottle of margarita mix and tequila and... He just went to town like you could just walk, say Oliver and he just go get you another mar margarita. So that was kind of cool. I had one only. That's all yeah, I could she take. Had one, I had twenty. I'm not gonna even lie. I had yeah. twenty. People were enjoying them. So yeah. Keith had two. Yeah. Yeah, Keith had. And so that was. So that was it. And then today. I had to go back out. Well, we tell them what uh, we had. We had, oh, we had enchiladas. Enchiladas. We had um, some awesome, awesome chicken on the skewer. That she that liked chicken, chicken skewers, good. yeah. And um, we had chicken that you make chicken tacos like you get off the truck. truck yeah. And then we had beans, beans and rice. rice. Mm -hmm. uh, um, we had um, we could have made burritos, but nobody wanted burritos. Yeah. And we had two different salsas, guacamole. Yeah, um, Guac guacamole gave me life, baby. <laughs> it gave me pure life. Do oh you hear God. me? I had not had guacamole like that since I left California. So it gave me pure life. Yeah. I was just like, oh my God, this guacamole is the bomb. Because you know where I live at, we don't. They don't do stuff like that. So they don't for, do it like that out here. So and, I, um, and I couldn't remember how to do it myself. Oh, and you I, couldn't. No, I oh. couldn't. So now I'm glad Chris knows how to do it. So uh. now all I have to do is call her and ask her how to, how to do the guacamole. But a lot of people I know don't even like guacamole. I asked to. I love guacamole. I love guacamole. So we had that, and then. Um, 
I made a pecan pie roll. Oh yeah, that was pecan good. Pecan pie bars. That was good. Yeah, and we just try. I just tried it because I seen it. I see the recipe and I went to try it and it was like super super duper when I say super duper duper easy it was super duper duper easy like it took me maybe 10 minutes to do the whole thing because all you do is get the crescent rolls I mean cre yeah crescent rolls roll it out in a um, 13 by 9 pan press all the the rolls together so the press you know lay it roll it out and then press the preparated part together so that it won't separate that's all you got to do and then um get sugar huh. kanya sugar corn syrup something else anyway mix it sugar, all together corn syrup, butter butter and egg, pecans and pecans and mix it all together you got to bake the crescent roll for like eight minutes so it could be done it, it could be it won't be doughy so you bake it for like eight minutes and then you take it out and then you pour the that stuff in it the the top the stuff in it and then just put it back in the oven and bake it what That's stuff it. you know the corn syrup the mixture you just made oh, okay. pour that in there and you just pour it in the pan oh here your coconut water blend watermelon with coconut water oh wow that's interesting for and then, a, um drink and then you just put it in the oven and let it cook for like I think it said 25 minutes mm -hmm. done it was good and it done. was i ate the last piece today it was oh, so you did? good okay. yeah yeah it, it was, was so good, good. Was then good. we went outside we went outside and yeah. i built a little i put a little fire in the fire pit even though it was windy like we was standing out yeah. up under a damn helicopter it mm -hmm. was so doggone windy but we had so much fun yeah it was it was um, it was very fun it was fun it was fun and now I'm waiting to depart. I don't leave, yeah. unfortunately, to 10.30 tonight because the way the stupid, well, That's I gotta go. That's not that on, bad. It's gonna to be go 6 o'clock in a minute. I have to go on other people's time, so I thought that they would have had one to leave at 4 o'clock, but they didn't. They had one that left at 7 in the morning. Um, and I was like, I knew I wouldn't go get up and make the one for 7 in the morning. Then they had one, I think, that leave, left at 1 o'clock. And I started to do that one that, that was at 1 o'clock, but I knew Chris worked. And I think that But that I could have did the 7 I didn't have to go to work. I could have. Uh, that wasn't going to make them miss no money now. I used to think that that was just an inconvenience for somebody. So I don't like to inconvenience people when I'm traveling. I try to make it as convenient as possible. So my only other choice was to leave tonight at 1030. And so that's what I did. So, so we'll get there. I loved it. I this is probably the this is my second time in Atlanta, and the first time I came, I came to see Southern University and FAMU play, and I just did. I Atlanta left a bad taste in my, my <laughs> mouth. This time I came, it was a much it it was much better. It was a much better experience altogether. So All I right. It. So. Kudos to Chris. Uh, well, for showing me a good time, and, and for, for people saying, "Well, you didn't do nothing. You didn't go to no club, and I, honey. I'm old. I don't need to go to no club. Uh, I don't do clubs. That that clubs is for me. Only time I'll go to a club or something like that is if we, if somebody's having an event, and I'm yeah. going to it, then I would do that. But for me, if I go to some place and they take me places to have a good time I mean they just take me and we have a good time doing what I like to do I'm good and she did that I like to shop oh, thank so you. she took me where I wanted to go was the shopping now the only it's other just thing my so sister I, did tell me I, to go to Lennox Mall and I uh -huh. don't even know where that's at it's it's a little well it's, it's, it's far to me you know, if know it don't take that, five minutes it's far to me it don't even matter because all she wanted me to do was I think, go to Lennox Mall to get some damn cupcakes Oh, some cupcakes from where? Some place in the Linux Mall. She said that they got some bomb cu cupcakes. Mm. I think it's called cu Cupcake Heaven or something. Oh, okay. Something like that. So that was it. Maybe Sharice or Simone might know what that. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. She, that's what she's talking about. You know. That, that was the course of my, my time here, and I loved it. Well, that was our weekend, YouTube. Okay. And so... But we didn't talk about the love of hip-hop. 
Okay. The silly Miss Jocelyn in her contract. You know she it? don't even know how many years she signed. Yeah, I'm like, who does that? Why we don't know if you signed that? something he wrote your lifetime. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Jocelyn's kind of slow. Yeah. And Miss Lady. Yeah. She's crazy. Well. I you ever seen somebody's mother act so stupid? That's your mother, and she acting like she uh, is a pimp for the girl. And crazy Shay, she's just slow and half retarded. Because why are you running after somebody who basically told you he don't want to be with you on national TV? Yeah, that's true. That kind of blew me away. Because I didn't get that. I didn't get why, why was she trying to no, why was she trying to be with him like that? Like, who does that? Yeah. I, and I, I, let me tell you something. Loving hip hop for me, I don't even. I, let me get that strawberry. I know, I'm looking at this. Oh, strawberry kid, salad? Uh huh. I wonder, can I do that in my jar? Go down to, to that j mason jar. Um, I, I don't even know why people. I don't even know why she. Why would she even do that? And I, I don't like loving hip hop. What mason jar? Oh, down here. Oh. I, I don't even like loving hip hop anymore. This to me is. Yeah, this just, season don't look like it's gonna be about nothing. I'm, this is so ghetto. And it's just like, damn, that just makes me ghetto to just to watch it. Because this is so stupid. Like, why would I keep watching it? Why? There's no reason for me to continue to watch it. It so. just seemed like it's gonna be very stupid this year. Last year was dumb, but this year. It really looks like it's gonna be stupid this year. Yeah. With the girls starting out, coming out the shower and then getting in the bed. My homeboy now, this week, she talking about just let me see my contract. And he said, you didn't read it. So I don't know if you can read, but like I said, you could have went walking up and down the street and asked a 10 year old to read it to you. She know how to read, but why would you sign something you haven't read and then why would you keep not get a copy of it? It's mm -hmm. like it was nothing he could have told me that would have kept me from getting a copy of my contract. Well, I think too she should just go get her her own lawyer. Because a lawyer would get it, you know. For you. Hopefully, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. That's my, that's my sentiment for that. <laughs> Alright, YouTube. This is Chrysanthemum and Cassandra. Saying bye-bye, YouTube. Bye, YouTube.